To me, being respectfully disruptive means speaking up when you see behaviors that hold back the progress that we're all trying to make. It's doing so respectfully, but challenging. You've got to make it a little bit uncomfortable in terms of the conversation that you see. It's also about speaking up to drive change and jumping into a conversation that candidly is going to be hard to say and for others hard to hear. But the outcome we're looking for is to disrupt the change that we're ultimately making and hopefully speeding up as we look ahead. We want all of our people, men and women, to feel like they belong, be supported, have equal opportunities. They feel valued and valuable. That's why gender equality is a key part of the inclusion first strategy for us. And it focuses on three areas. Action, where you drive change. Accountability, where we hold our leaders, all of us, not just those designated leaders with titles, and all of our organization responsible for that change and making such change in a responsible way and then also bring advocacy to the table. We've got to actually create an environment to have the discussions. We've got to bring a voice to the change. And as part of that strategy, we're trying to equip our people with the inclusive leadership skills to help them value diversity and think and act differently with inclusivity and equality in mind. It's not one at the expense of the other, it's one plus one equaling three, and that's the big opportunity for all of us to play a big role.